I'll tell you guys, nothing like a cup full of your haters' tears to get it going. You see, the thing about me is, it doesn't matter that I'm losing games. What matters is that I show up week after week with the same charisma and the same intensity as every week. You could sit there, little 17-year-old, making fun of me on Twitter. I don't care. I don't care. What do you got? Your league titles in your Twitter bio? What are you? What are you bragging about? Bragging about how many how many league games you've won on Twitter? You think that's supposed to impress me or or bring my feelings down? All it's doing is adding time to this video so that when you're watching it, it allows me to throw more ads on there and give me more money. So please continue to throw shade my way, and I will continue to drink up to you guys. And I will also, in the process, make money doing it. Oh, damn it. It just feels good. It just feels good sitting in this house with all my toys that you've probably paid for. It's great. So keep commenting in the comments below about how much I suck. All it does is add my videos to other YouTube analytics. And add my videos to more people's feeds. So please do that. Please keep tweeting at me about how bad I am. Just get more people to see me. Please keep writing your Facebook comments about where my address is. The one time someone did that, that was pretty weird, but keep doing that. I enjoy a good dinner. Anyway, we got a team to get to. I'm sure you've heard enough of my whining. Haven't you? Random 16 on me. It tastes good, it does. Let's get to the squad. We got against him leader Hio and the San Francisco Hyentes. I obviously have Cresselia's. Swampert and Como. This Cresselia was originally not gonna be a sub combine sweeper. Then I noticed all my infinite wisdom and talent. The only dark type was a moon blast. I'm gonna probably get like a sub. He's gotta be probably curse, not we foul play, perhaps payback. But that's fine, I can shut up. If I'm a one, a Gengar with Shadow Ball, I can't even do it, KO me. So we're gonna run combine. Combine Cresselia, and I got defense in case he wants to get, you know, creative with like a choice band Arcanine or perhaps he's got a plus one Salamence I gotta take down. We gotta take those precautions in case that stuff's gonna happen. So let's move on. Cresselia, easy. Zerkatry, Thunderbolt Hit Power Fire for his Pharaoh Sword. Dazzling Gleam Handful. Revenge Tone this thing, I'm probably gonna leave with this thing. I am gonna be turning all day. I'm just going to be Volt Switching all day. If he brings Rhyperior, I obviously cannot Volt Switch all day. I'm not a fucking idiot. I know what Rhyperior does. It's Lightning Rod tells you you are initiated in the Rhyperiors. If he does not have Rhyperior, I'm going to be Volt Switching with a Choice Scarf all G hyphen D day. It's 6th of June, 1944. Open a fucking history book before you come at me. A lot of creativity out of this set. I'm mostly gonna be clicking Dazzling Gleam. Mostly. I'm going to be clicking Volt Switch, not Dazzling Gleam. I was thinking about the Gleam, and I'm gonna get all the adoration from all the press and media when I take down the San Francisco Hyatt Days and Him Leader EO. Naruto, I didn't cry about it. Next, we got Zorark. Knock off Grass Knot. Flamethrower, Hidden Power Ice, with a Focus Sash. This is just a simple Zora knockoff, of course, to get rid of some items and stab on things like Jengar. Grass Knot. If you can't figure out what Grass Knot's for, you're a fucking idiot. I don't want these idiots. I want those with the knowledge that I possess on this channel. Now, someone's gonna get to a You're just want idiots to be on your videos, too. I imagine you have a ridiculous overbite, and you sound like an idiot when you say that. That's fine. Hidden Power Ice, of course, Salamence. Flamethrower, of course, the Steel type. Grass Knot, you figure it out. It's a fucking puzzle. I'm opening your mind. I'm strengthening your brain with these challenges I'm presenting to you in everyday lessons of life. Next! Licky Licky. Body Slam Wish Protect Power Up Punch. This thing cannot touch Gengar in the slightest, but it can pass wishes. And if he does not have Gengar or Gengar's dead, this thing can just start punching 
and uh, body slamming my way to victory. Now, this thing could come in on Tapu Fini all day of the week. I'm not concerned or worried about what Tapu Fini can bring to the table. I'm not at all concerned or worried about what or what Licky Licky cannot switch in on. Though he may have a Gengar with Focus Blast, if possible. I also perceive having Gengar without Sludge Bomb but Sludge Wave for potentially Bulletproof Como. That's fine. I understand that. This thing, I can pass wishes to other teammates. I can protect to get some leftovers back. And uh, essentially, this set is just going to be around to, uh, if Gengar's not there, just to kind of maybe throw around some paralysis, maybe maybe even get a little mini sweep going. How dope would a Licky Licky sweep be for the top players of the week? be pretty fucking sick. Swampert, Rocks, Roar, Ice Punch, Earthquake. The reason... Uh, I am not running a water move is for uh, Moongus, and he has a potential uh, for Cursed Body for cursed body Gengar. The worst thing that ever happened is if I Earthquake Gengar and it dies, Cursed Body appears, and then he brings in a Moongus, and I'm just fucking stalking. I want to do the Ice Punch for damage, I want to do the four Earthquake for damage. Either way, my Ice Punch is significant option, so if... if if my Earthquake does get Cursed Body, I have another option to hit a move this left with, and uh, hopefully that matchup won't happen. You won't know, have to come down to some kind of a Swamp Herb or a move this type of thing, or I won't, you know, or maybe I can kill a move this early, and that'd be fantastic. But either way, I don't want that to happen. But, let's move on to the final part of the team. Uh, Clanging Scale is playing their poison jab. Work up, Light Force, Bulletproof. Clanging Scale, guys. Uh, Salamence has Intimidate? That's fine, that's Clanging Scale. Flamethrower for a Moongus, Poison Jab, or Tap Finny, work up, and maybe you can get two of those going. Now, I don't think I'm going to get a work up going. It's not really fast enough. That would beat a lot of the team. But if I can, uh, it'll go one way. If he, if he has Salamence left, I can never get a work up going. That's, that's never going to happen. Uh, but I'm claiming the scales. No, ideally, I want to be able to claim the scale and Salamence on the way in. Uh, so I have to get myself in a position to put Gears, um, I guess, uh, ground or fighting move and he goes into Salamence. Or even if you have the bulk of Salamence and you think you can take a Dragon Ball at, at, at one of minus one, then I suppose that'll work too. But I'm never going to go toe to toe with Salamence. It's never going to happen. I'm not fast in it. It'll probably kill me with any sort of thing get Dragon Ball. But this is my squad this week. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling lucky. And uh, I don't think I'm feeling You say you feel lucky. That is the lucky kiss of death. I feel like I've gotten some pretty bad luck so far. But let's try and turn it around. And if you've watched this far, still hating on me you can literally suck my ball all right thanks for watching everybody and a big thanks to all of my patrons those are the names in that black box there they help make this channel what it is and of course check me out on social media if you enjoy what i do and want to see some extra stuff and uh, you know windows into my life facebook there twitter there instagram there and of course if you want to become a patron you can below for one dollar a month you can get access to all of my patron only gameplay videos and be a part of whatever projects i decide to do along with other uh, rewards you can check that out and of course i have other content the bottom video is my most previous vgc video if you want to check that out, I'm using a Rain Trick Room team. And above is my wrestling YouTube channel, which is all sorts of ridiculous. I have a fantasy wrestling federation with creative characters up there. Currently is Man Ray versus Vegeta versus Frieza versus Skeeter Valentine. Click on those to get to those videos if you if you want. If you don't want, well, that's fine as well. But uh, as always, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank everybody again for watching. I'll see each and every one of you next time. Good night.